some fish look alike. But some, some fish are truly, truly strange, unlike anything else on Earth. And it makes sense underwater is a weird place. How weird? You're about to find out. These are the most unique fish in the ocean. Number 15. Giant Dorado The dolphin fish is a pretty large fish, reaching sizes of up to 4.5 feet in length. In spite of its name, it is no relation to dolphins, as is a cold-blooded fish with gills. They live in warm, tropical waters, such as those around Hawaii. And so this fish is increasingly given its Hawaiian language name, Mahi Mahi, which means super strong. And these fishermen showed that it takes skill, patience, and strength to bring one of these up onto a boat when line fishing. The most striking thing about this common fish is the huge, bulbous head, which is most pronounced on the males. In this video, it seems the fisherman has caught one of the less spectacular females who have a rounder head. The males not only look a little like Frankenstein's monster, they also have a spectacular rainbow patterning running through their fins, displaying bright blues, golden yellows, and shimmering greens. Once out of the water, these otherwise gray fish can change color to gold, giving them their Spanish name of Dorado. So while they are very different from their dolphin namesakes, these fish are still some of the most spectacular and unique looking in all of the ocean. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Back in 2015, some Indonesian fishermen attempted to save not just a rare ocean sunfish, but one that weighed 1.5 tons and was more than 6 feet long. Crikey, that's a whole lot of fish. They found the fish in critical condition after the poor guy washed ashore in Palu. Sunfish are the heaviest bone fish in the world. So despite their constant effort, this poor big guy sadly did not make it. Still though, what a fascinatingly odd looking fish, unlike anything else out there. The ocean truly is magnificent. As always, comment down below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Fangtooth The fangtooth, as you might have guessed, has a pretty serious set of teeth in its mouth. In fact, as a proportion of its body size, this fish's teeth are the largest of any species in the ocean. Relative to body size, these are the largest teeth in the ocean. Although fangtooths do only grow to around 6 inches long, still, as you can see, this prehistoric vampire-looking deep ocean fish is pretty much nothing but fangs. These fish not only look quite, but the two fangtooth species are in fact biologically not closely related to any other kind of fish, which might be due to the fact they really have a face only a mother could love tiny eyes, haggard and uneven faces, covered with mucus, producing cavities, and thin, red-brown skin, not exactly the pinup of the deep sea. Add to this the famous fangs, which are so big, the fang tooth is unable to close its mouth, and apparently extremely bad temper, and we can perhaps be glad they live in the total blackness of the deep. And they live really deep, as much as 16,000 feet below the surface, making them one of the deepest living fish ever found. Number 13. Pufferfish the pufferfish is surely one of the most unique species on the whole planet, and not only in the ocean. These kind of clumsy looking, slow swimming fish have some fantastic defensive abilities, as I'm sure any Minecraft fans will know already. When threatened, they rapidly ingest water or air, which makes their loose skin puff up like a ball, and causes the many spikes which lie flat on the skin in normal circumstances to become erect, making this into a far less palatable meal. There are, in fact, 120 species of pufferfish, with a wide array of shapes and sizes, and many with bright colors. And as most people know, bright colors in the animal kingdom often serve as a warning. 
And this is the case with the pufferfish. If a brave or hungry predator manages to swallow down all those spikes, it will be in for a nasty surprise, as this watery porcupine is also highly poisonous. In fact, each pufferfish contains a serious dose of tetrodotoxin, which is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, enough to kill 30 humans. And there's no antidote. So it might be a little surprising to discover that this insanely dangerous fish is a famous dish in Japan, where master chefs cut the poisonous parts away from fugu, as it is known, leaving only the safe parts. However, one false cut means certain death for the diner. And it happens several times every year that fugu lovers don't make it home from the restaurant. A unique fish making a unique and pretty stressful meal. Number 12. Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse While the pufferfish might be cute and deadly, the Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse is not especially deadly and is absolutely anything other than cute. A massive bulbous chin and giant forehead makes this large species of wrasse a contender for the weirdest looking animal of all time. They are not an especially well-studied species, although they are sometimes fished for food in the Asian waters they inhabit. A recent BBC documentary caught on film another incredible ability. The Asian sheep's head wrasse can change sex from male to female and back again when it feels like doing so. Although there's no information on whether changing genders makes them look anything less like Popeye the Sailor. A Japanese diver named Hiroyuki Arakawa claims to have established a 30-year friendship with one of these wrasses. When diving in an underwater Shinto shrine off the coast of Japan, Arakawa rings a bell and calls the fish's name, Goriko, which unfailingly causes the strange-looking fish to turn up and play with its diver buddy. So there's maybe more to this bizarre-looking species than you might think. Number 11. Banded Jawfish Jawfishes are a relatively small family of fishes, which includes around 80 species, many of which are popular additions to home aquaria. Growing to around 4 inches long, these fish have relatively long bodies and short heads, which gives them the right shape for the multitasking jaws they are named for. These fish like to live mainly buried in the sand, and will use their mouths like a digger to remove sand and deposit it elsewhere. Furthermore, angry little jawfish often find themselves in territorial fights with other jawfish, and will resort to spitting mouthfuls of sand at their rival in a kind of gross fish fight. Another crazy thing about jawfish is that they are one of the unusual fish species known as mouth brooders, which means that they incubate their baby fish eggs in their mouths, which I have to say looks pretty strange, just sitting there with their mouths wide open, full of eggs, waiting for them to be ready. But it's a way of protecting their offspring from predators. So if there's an aquatic award for parenting, the jawfish might be a strong contender as the most devoted. Number 10. Tasseled Scorpion Fish The tasseled scorpion fish is a species of the order Scorpaniforms, which is one of the largest orders of bony fish in the seas, containing more than 1,300 known species. Most scorpion fish are relatively small, with few measuring more than 30 centimeters. But the tasseled scorpion fish is one of those few, growing to around 35 centimeters in adulthood. These fish tend to dwell in shallow waters around reefs and are specially adapted to their coral environment. With an unusual mixture of sand and bright orange coloring, allowing them to adapt their camouflage to both the seabed and the reefs which they swim through. Scorpion fish, it has been said, were not named for their fluffy appearance and nature. These fish have a row of nasty spines along their backs, and since they like to waddle around on the shallow seabed, plenty of swimmers have had the painful mistake of stepping on one of these unusual looking venomous creatures. They are called tasseled scorpion fish due to the long, beard-like tassels which hang from their jaws, giving them the appearance of wise old men of the sea. Wise old men covered with long venomous spines, that is. Number 9. Hairy Frogfish 
Talking of spines, the hairy frogfish is covered in them, and they make this one bizarre-looking fish. You can see why biologists give it this name, because it does indeed look like a kind of hairy frog fish. This strange coral-dwelling blob lives in warm, coastal waters, where reefs are abundant. And aside from its appearance, there's plenty of other unique things about the hairy frog fish. First up, it uses a combination of the spines and the ability to change color as its primary means of camouflage, doubling the effect. This is pretty important for the frog fish, since unlike pretty much all the other fish in the sea, they can't actually swim which you would think might be a disadvantage for a fish, but it doesn't seem to be holding them back. Furthermore, they use a kind of fishing technique to catch prey, with one extra long spine near their mouths acting as a kind of bait. The frogfish, camouflaged of course, lies in wait, dangling its spine out ahead of it, making it look as worm-like as possible. When a curious small fish approaches, the frogfish strikes, and fast. Even the most advanced slow-motion cameras have had a hard time capturing the attack of the frogfish, who can gobble up its prey in a movement which lasts one six thousandth of a second. So while they might look a little blobby and awkward, they are no slouches. Number 8. Yellow Boxfish Evolution didn't take too long to figure out the benefits of hydrodynamics, and so most species of fish are usually kind of long and slim, with a pointed head to glide through the water more easily. So something turned out a little differently with the boxfish, because as its name suggests, it's pretty much shaped like a box. And boxes are not especially efficient at gliding through water, as you can probably imagine. However, this is something of a payoff, as the boxfish has some pretty cool features, which mean that swimming fast isn't necessarily as important as you might think for this little yellow cuboid. The box shape goes along with a rigid, armored body, which is way tougher than the usual defenses most fish carry, not too much more than a few scales. The boxfish is also an independent-minded creature, and they tend to go about their lives alone, only meeting up for seasonal mating. The yellow color is not just for show either. Their skin contains a powerful neurotoxin, which they can pump into the water around them, leaving any potential predators stone dead. The boxfish nevertheless manages to swim pretty well, albeit in a kind of unique style powered by their fins. So successfully that Mercedes-Benz were inspired to create a concept car based on the yellow boxfish back in 2006. And it does kind of look just like one. Number 7. Psychedelic Frogfish Frogfish are the fish family that keeps on giving when it comes to unique, weird, and wonderful fish. This time, it's the psychedelic frogfish, and it truly does look like some kind of 1960s ornament from the kind of San Francisco home that had a particular sweet herbal smell hanging around it back in the age of psychedelia. This trippy fish was only discovered in 2009 and is extremely rare, although its bright and spectacular coloring might make you think it'd be hard to miss. Like most frogfish, it lives on coral reefs and is able to blend in with the brightly colored coral. At around 3 inches long, it is easily mistaken for a piece of coral, and the patterns on its skin exactly resemble the reef where it lives. This species is one of what are known as egg brooder, meaning that they keep their eggs on the outside of their bodies, attached closely for protection. However, the psychedelic frogfish also uses their own eggs as bait, since small egg-eating predators see what they think is a bunch of eggs attached to some coral, swim over to explore, and end up being eaten by the camouflaged adult frog. Sneaky. Number 6. Lionfish the lionfish is another kind of scorpionfish, a seriously badass one. It is spectacular to look at, with a warning coloration of red, white, and black stripes around its body. 
as well as an array of highly venomous spines projecting from it. The lionfish has serious defenses and is also a fantastic hunter with a ferocious appetite, happy to eat up pretty much anything small enough to fit into its mouth. They have no natural predators, although some sharks and giant sea worms have been known to successfully tackle this fish equivalent of the F-35 fighter plane. In its natural habitat, the reefs, corals, and lagoons of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, conditions manage to keep lionfish populations under control, just about. However, in 1992, the devastating Hurricane Andrew destroyed large parts of the Florida coast, including an aquarium. This led to the escape of six lionfish into the waters of the Caribbean, where they have become one of the most destructive invasive species, aggressively gorging themselves on unsuspecting native species, and growing to far larger sizes than previously recorded. They have now begun to spread all along the western Atlantic, leaving a trail of destruction behind them. And conservationists are scrambling to combat the rise of the indestructible lionfish. Number 5. Stonefish The stonefish has the distinction of being the most venomous fish in the world and its spines each contain sacs of venom, which are administered when triggered by any kind of pressure applied to its body. Since it looks a lot like a stone, or something with pink flecks to resemble coral, it's pretty easy to miss, and plenty of people have felt the painful and sometimes lethal sting of the stonefish. In Australia, beaches have supplies of vinegar, which lessens the effect of the venom since accidentally stepping on a stonefish is a fairly common and very painful experience for Australian swimmers. In spite of this, a stonefish can be quite easily prepared as food, since most of the fish is non-poisonous and pretty tasty, once the venomous spines have been removed. It has long been a popular delicacy in Asia, and is even eaten raw as sashimi. Another unusual trait of the stonefish is its ability to survive up to 24 hours out of water, far longer than most other fish could ever manage out in the air. So if you see a funny-looking rock in or out of the water, think twice before stepping on it. Number 4. Coffinfish the coffinfish is a kind of sea toad, which lives in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Australia. Although their globose bodies certainly make them look like toads, sea toads and coffinfish are very much fish and not amphibians. At least for now they are. One of the most striking things about this strange little fish is the two lower fins which sit very low on the fish's body and help to propel the coffinfish around like a pair of legs. So, who knows? Maybe in a hundred million years or so, coffinfish will be walking around on land with the other amphibians. Their bright orange color and wide black lined mouth gives them an unusual appearance, and they are also able to puff themselves up with extra water as a defense mechanism, not unlike the pufferfish we saw earlier. Living in the deep ocean, these fish hide in the depths and use lures, a kind of spine protruding from its body, to attract prey, which they then devour in one rapid gulp, before nestling back down into their hidden spot on the seabed. Number 3. Squirrelfish The squirrelfish is a reef dweller and nighttime predator, something which might explain the huge black eyes on this small fish, which help them as they scour beds of sand and seagrass looking for prey. During the day, they generally hide themselves away in small crevices to avoid predators. Their habitat ranges from the Gulf of Mexico to the southwestern Atlantic, and are usually found at around 100 feet below the surface. But these 10-inch long fish have been known to live as far down as 600 feet below the surface. In many respects, the squirrelfish is a pretty standard coral reef fish, but it is unique in that it is able to use a special gas chamber in its swim bladder to bark at other squirrelfish as a form of communication, warning others about dangers. The barking fish might sound like a carnival act, but it turns out to be true. Number 2. White Margin Stargazer The White Margin Stargazer is another ambush predator fish, lying in wait for prey in sandy and silty reef areas of the Pacific. 
However, this strange-looking fish has been called the meanest thing in all creation. This is due to the fact that not only can the stargazer administer electric shocks to its prey, but they also have a long, venomous spine on their backs. So this is a kind of twin attack, which leaves prey with no chance, and makes any predators think twice about trying to make a meal out of a stargazer. The electric charge delivered comes from a pouch behind the eyes and can carry up to 50 volts, depending on water temperature and the spines can inflict painful injury. Aside from that, these little guys are camouflage experts. They are the color of sand and will bury themselves so only the two big eyes on the top of its head are protruding. And this habit of always looking up gave this fish the name Stargazer. Fleshy bumps around the mouth act as extra camouflage and also allow the stargazer to breathe while buried. Finally, the stargazer has a kind of second tongue, which looks like a worm, acting as a lure to draw passing fish right into range of its mouth. A pretty well-equipped predator all around. Number 1. Parrotfish the parrotfish is one of the most impressive-looking fish in the ocean, and its name comes partly from its spectacular bright colors, and partly from its beak-shaped mouth, which is used to rasp algae away from the coral reefs they live in. Parrotfish are one of the most important seaweed consumers on coral reefs. The coral is pulled from the reef by the beak, and the parrotfish then uses a set of internal teeth to grind it down and get to the nutritious algae. And while the colors are impressive, there's not much use trying to use them for classification, since they vary wildly even among close relatives. And on top of that, the parrotfish has the ability to change its sex throughout its life, which it does repeatedly depending on certain breeding conditions. When a parrotfish's day's work is done, like any other fish, it finds a comfortable spot to rest up for the night. And like most other smaller reef fish, it then has to avoid being eaten by the array of nighttime reef predators such as moray eels. To help with this, the parrotfish produces a full-body kind of mucus pajama, which jellifies it and helps both cover its scent and act as an early warning trigger, should a predator swim too close for comfort. Finally, in Polynesia, the fish is a traditional delicacy, once only consumed by the king. A pretty amazing fish! Which of these fish had a unique ability that you'd like to have for yourself? Did any of them inspire you to design a car or anything else? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!